David, I had a really busy game of football this evening here in East Kilbride. What's your role taking the game? Firstly, I'm pleased that the lads have seen out the win because that is something you've always looked upon and it's always judged on. Um, and there's lots of real you know, good bits in the game we were really pleased with. We, we set up a slightly different shape tonight to try and challenge our players to think differently as well. And I think that worked. We got, um, obviously, the start that we had from, from Zach Lovelace, and just with good pressure from, from Robbie and Zach at the cameras to go and score helps to settle us in a little bit. But the way we played in terms of the position we put our left side of the forward in um, caused these Kirby a little bit of problems. I also thought that, that Kane Richard Hostler found himself in really good positions as well, which again I thought, I thought that caused him problems in the first half. Got herself in some real good positions, some good goals, getting herself in what looked to be reasonably comfortable to see nothing. Then you lose a goal just before half time from the penalty kick. But the bit that we speak to the players about is it's more about how we're losing our goals just now. Um, there's, there's some turnovers within the game that are probably unforced errors, and, and it's, it's put ourselves in situations that we don't need to be in. So that's something we keep talking about, and that also was the case the second half when you lose the two goals in the second half. But we've scored four really good goals. We've, um, particularly last one, if we look at the, the control, the calmness that we had to build from the right back area back to Bud, out to the left hand side, and then the calmness that Robbie had to cut back for Connor Young to get his first goal for the club there as well. So there's a lot of bits in there that was really pleasing, but the last part of the game becomes a little bit edgy just because we turn the ball over unnecessarily and make some decisions that maybe don't really reflect the moment of the game, the momentum of the game, and that, that obviously puts you under a little bit of pressure. So these are things that we'll keep looking at and work on um, as we go forward. Talking about the goals, how pleased are you with the, the variations like you, you spoke about and especially with Zach getting one in 25 seconds, how important was that to sort of set the tone for the rest of the match? Well, it does help, it does help because I think it, put, it certainly puts in the front foot, they realise that we're, we're going to go after them a little bit in terms of the pressure and if they're going to play through that then they'll need to think and play quickly. Um, as the game developed they played less and less in front of us but um, then you need to deal with the, the next part of the game in terms of challenges and um, I thought at times our centre backs dealt with really well and um, the second half as it was gone probably a little bit more challenging I thought there was more second phases that we had to deal with and we didn't necessarily do quite as well as we had earlier in the game so but as I say momentum's key and um, we knew East Coast Ride would come out the second half having you know got themselves in a 3-1 position and they won't ever go to us and, and it, they'd, although we got to 4-1 um, they still by the time they got to the second goal it's our turnover that causes that, that, that issue uh, puts us under a little bit of pressure more than we needed to be and naturally you smell opportunities and that's the way the game starts to pan out pleased that the whistle goes quite quickly after the third goal um, but as I say I think the difference between our best bits which is really good and the bits we were turning the ball over a little bit loosely we need to close that gap um, and that's something we'll keep challenging the players on and just that value um, and the fundamental parts and you know, when you're not pressured then we've got to take better care of the ball at certain times of the game. And how important was tonight for the boys to, to bounce back from Friday night's disappointment and the first league loss essentially? Well, listen, Friday night was disappointing in terms of the result. We've looked back in the game and I think the possession for us was, was, was relatively high, um, but the possession's fine, but if you don't do anything with it, then, then you'll always be judged on the, the outcome. So we weren't threatening enough in the final third. We challenged the players on that this week. Um, you see tonight, we've scored four goals, four good goals. So I think you can see there's been a little bit more realisation of what's required against teams who are going to make it difficult to attack. So that was, we were really pleased about that, but also knew defensively, which again against civil service, I thought generally did really well, and you've only lost the game in two direct free kicks. So I've got to praise the players for, for that, but you know, that, that's something that they realise. Praise the players for the amount of good bits of play we had against civil service, but the challenge is we, we've got to bring a threat when we have the ball, and that wasn't what we did well enough in, in the civil service game tonight, was much different. So I've got to, again, got to praise the players for that, but again, I'll, we have to close the gap between our best bits and our turnovers because um, these are the bits you can get punished on against the uh, senior players in better position.